I would like to welcome you to our, on a very special day on the introduction of the Subtech Go 2. An exciting day for me, but also for all the employees of Subtech. Next to our current lineup of products, the Subtech Pro and the Subtech Go, where we fulfill a lot of needs in the international playing field of the EV industry, we also see that the innovation is moving us ahead. Innovation on the energy side, on the energy transition, but also innovation in the automotive market. And with those new needs, it also was time for Subtech to introduce the Subtech Go 2, which fulfilled those needs. With the Subtech Go 2, we are redefining the EV industry. And I'm happy to hand over to Tonya and Frederick, who tell you all about the features of the Subtech Go 2. Enjoy. Thank you, Juris. Subtech Go is installed in 30 countries across Europe always with safety in mind and a simple charging experience, both for the user and for the installer. Subtic Go 2 is now the new product added to the family, and this is the next level. Subtic Go 2 is our first uh, product developed for the European market and its specific needs. Our intention was to create a product that offers more features in the same compact design, built on the next generation hardware. Uh, with the same quality and five-year guarantee that the customers expect from us. Many EVs across Europe are used as fleet and company cars. That is why we have precision engineered the Subtec Go 2 for specialized with billing and reimbursement through our European approved MID meter. This also includes a built-in display where the consumer can keep track of its consumption at all times. And you can also integrate the Subtech Go 2 with our OCPP, which makes you able to have an integration directly for billing and reimbursement through backends. We added phase switch functionality to uh, support solar integration to allow your customers to utilize energy from the solar panels. With the surplus charging, uh, the EV experience becomes truly green, affordable and sustainable. In many cases, your solar output might even uh, cover the needs of your uh, daily commute. Subtech Go 2 switches between grid energy and solar output based on capacity and needs. Go 2 is engineered in-house and it comes with a promise. We will always put safety first. During the EV transition, there is a big responsibility on the EV charging station manufacturers, and we take that responsibility to heart. As much as technology can excite, safety needs to be the focus when we're installing charging stations in people's homes where they sleep at night. But there is way more to stop to go to. Uh, vehicle to grid is turning from a buzzword into a key aspect of EV charging. The potential of reducing energy consumption during peak hours or transferring energy back to the grid turns your EV and charger into the centerpiece of this generation's energy transition. I don't know about you, Tanya, but I think it's time for a product deep dive. Let's go! Hi, I'm here with Endre, the product owner of the Subtech Go 2, and here it is. Um, Endre, can you please um, explain to me exactly what does um, MID certified actually mean? MID stands for Measuring Instruments Directive, and that the Subtech Go 2 is MID certified, it means it will ensure accurate energy readings in all conditions. We've also extended this certification to be bi-directional. That's interesting. Can you explain a bit more what bi-directional means? With bi-directional, we mean that uh, it can accurately measure the flow of energy both to the car as well as the other direction from the car. This, together with the hardware added for supporting ISO 15118, is to ensure that uh, we can meet 
all future demands or functionality of the product when the standards are available. We've gotten great feedback from installers actually uh, about the installation um, with this Aptico. Can I now expect the same experience with this new? Yes, absolutely. As I mentioned, uh, the sticker can't be lost now since it's on the display. And, um, but there is one other feature with the Zaptic O2, which is the one to three phase switching. One to three phase switching will allow the, uh, the switching between three phase charging and one phase charging. And this is especially important for our customers with solar panels in their homes. The Zaptic Go fully complies with all provisions of uh, IEC 62955 because uh, our solution uses a mechanical four-pole relay. This um, means, however, that the one to three phase switching is not possible. But we have solved this obstacle by adding two functional relays to the charger. This, uh, in essence, means that we can meet all requirements of the 62955 and be fully compliant while still allowing this functionality for the users to switch between one and three phase charging. This means that it will be a small extra step in the installation flow in the app, but other than that, it should be the exact same uh, experience our installers know from the Zaptec Go today. That's neat. Um, what about any mechanical design updates? Anything you can tell me? Yes, uh, most notably, we've added the heat sink on the backside. This will greatly improve the thermal performance of the charger and this allows for a higher operating temperature, which is especially great for warmer climates further south in Europe. For the less notable uh, changes, we've um, improved the impact rating of the charger, so it's now rated for IK10. This means it can be installed at any heights and it's great for accessibility and um, one less thing the installers need to worry about. Okay, that's great. And to summarize then, um, what would you say it takes to, to develop a product such as Saptic Go 2? I would say uh, dedication, patience and creativity. You must thrive on finding new solutions to the challenges and obstacles ahead. However, it's also important to remember uh, that creating a MID certified product like the Zaptic Go 2 is a lot more than just creating an excellent product. Code must be locked and certified as well, and the documentation uh, requirements extend way beyond those of a non-MID certified product. We also had to build a completely new production line to accommodate these new features and certification of the Zaptic Go 2. So in short, I do believe it takes quite a lot to develop a product like the Septic O2. But I also believe that we have done this successfully and know this will be the perfect product for many of our customers today. It's been interesting knowing more about the technical choices that were made in the progress of making Saptic Go 2. So I'd like to ask all of you some questions. So here we go. Tonya, let's say I need a new charger and I'm trying to decide if I need a Saptic Go or a Saptic Go 2. Which one do I choose? Okay, first of all, both the regular Saptic Go and the Saptic Go 2 are really good products. We have had safety first when making both, and the regular Saptic Go is actually a test winner on safety features. So with that said, the biggest difference for the consumer in mind will actually be that the Subtech Go 2 has an MID meter built in, so that you have a dynamic display where it's visible to the consumer how much uh, you're actually charging for at all times. So this makes the Subtech Go 2 perfect for, say, 
uh, company uh, fleets or company cars or fleets, because then you have an accurate measurement of the total usage for the consumer when it comes to billing and reimbursements. In addition to this, uh, the Subtech Go 2 has something called a solar integration. So this makes you able to charge your car with the solar panels that you have on your house. So this can actually save you a lot of money on the electricity bill that you're able to use the power produced by your house and not by the grid, and it also helps the grid. Um, but then um, if I want to be vehicle to grid ready, um, which we touched upon um, before this uh, conversation, um, do I need to do the installation somewhat differently, Endra? No, there are no special requirements for this from the product side of things. But to ensure safe vehicle-to-grid uh, operations, uh, the installation must comply with all uh, regulations uh, set by the local grid companies. In the meantime, you should always check with your professional uh, electrician uh, to make sure that all the configurations are done correctly. That sounds like a clever move. Frederik. There are a lot of EV chargers that exist on the market. I think we both agree on that. Yes. So why, why choose the Septico 2? In my opinion, it's the best one of all of them. <laughs> okay, you have to. You have to explain more how. A little bit biased, but still, yeah, we, we have a lot of features in, in the box. And uh, Tonya touched upon some of the features, but Many of our competitors, they have uh, one single out features that they focus on. We take, took all of them that we see is uh, the most common and most useful for the end user, put them in the same, uh, same box. And now we have um, what I think is, is the best with, uh, with the MID now and uh, vehicle to grid possibilities in the future, the solar integrations. All of this stuff, in um, addition to RFID and stuff we are fam familiar with from before. It sounds like a really like feature-packed um, charging station. And um, if I'd like to um, find more product information or even order the product, where, where do I go, Tonya? You go to subtech.com and there you will find all the information you need on the product. And then we also have a Subtech help center where you can find the technical manuals, the data sheets, anything you need related to Subtech Go too. So right now it's available for order in Benelux, Switzerland and in Germany. So we're super excited about this launch. On behalf of Subtech, I would like to thank you for your participation on the webinar of the Subtech Go 2. Let's stay connected with me, one of my colleagues, or look for future updates on subtech.com. Let's be charged for our next adventures.